Welcome to the Dairy Digest. I'm Dr. Jackie Borman. In this installment of the Purdue Dairy Digest, we will be discussing reminders for corn silage harvest. We have had our share of hot days this summer, and there is plenty of corn here in Indiana that is getting close to harvest. Today, we will talk about some of the important things to remember related to corn silage harvest. When you are deciding when to start corn silage, the dry matter of the corn silage is more important than the maturity of the kernel. While you may have heard to harvest at a certain milk line of the kernel, this has little relationship to the dry matter of the plant. Especially with a hot, dry summer, if you wait until half milk line to harvest, you may end up putting up a lot of dry, low digestibility corn silage. If you have an upright silo or bag, your optimal dry matter is between 35 and 40 percent. If you have a bunker or pile, your optimal dry matter is a little wetter at 32 to 36 percent dry matter. This can be tested by sampling chopped corn silage and drying with a coster tester. A coster tester tends to be about two points drier in dry matter than the corn silage after it is ensiled. When you start chopping, make sure that all of your kernels are being cut into multiple pieces. For a high producing cow, there is not enough time for her to break down the corn kernel in the rumen and digest all of the starch. Therefore, making that starch available to rumen bugs will give you more milk. Check kernel processing throughout harvest, as fields with different dry matters may chop differently and the roller gap may adjust over time. Chopping length is usually a half to three quarters of an inch, and we want to have nothing that is big enough for a cow to sort out. As corn silage gets drier, you may also need to reduce the length of corn silage in order to pack it appropriately and to help with digestibility in the rumen. Again, check length of corn silage throughout the harvest in order to make sure it meets your goals. We want to reduce the amount of soil that gets into corn silage. Soil contains bacteria that may prevent good fermentation. This means make sure that anything driving on a pile is not bringing in soil. In order for proper fermentation to occur, you need to pack corn silage to eliminate oxygen. If you pack thin layers, you are more likely to get a good corn silage density and it will reduce dry matter loss. If you just pack at the end of the day, or with not enough weight, there will still be oxygen in the pile, and this will lead to heating, mold, and yeast growth and spoilage. Cover corn silage piles as quickly as possible to reduce oxygen exposure and to start the fermentation process. Corn silage harvest is a busy time on dairy farms, but it is the chance to put up high-quality feedstuff for the next year.